Hello and welcome back to another episode of Minecraft. Okay, you see that? You see that? Those are both markers for spawners. That one's a spider spawner. That one's a skeleton spawner. One over there is our house. That's a zombie spawner. We got all the spawners, man. It's actually pretty close. It's a nice little triangle of spawners. Um. Yeah. Anyway. I want to show you this thing. It's a thing. It's a thingy thing. If you watched my last episode, you should know what this is. Unless you think, actually, you get distracted so easily. It could be anything. That's true. But also, I turn my clouds off. Because, uh, fun fact about clouds. Uh, wait. Oh, this is a clear area. Well, we'll come back to it, I guess. But uh, you can't see through clouds. You can't see blocks through clouds. You can see through them. But you can't see blocks through them for some reason. So when a cloud comes, which is going too soon, you just can't see these for some reason. Uh, we're very high up, in case you're wondering. Why 126? Over the old build limit. Wait. No, the old build limit was 128, wasn't it? Yeah, that sounds about right. But that would be over the build limit, I mean. So, okay, ready? Ready for this cloud? Ready for this cloud? Oh, I can't wait. Apparently in the 1.9 they're going to be updating clouds. They're going to be dynamic, which sounds cool. I think it means they're going to like move around things and disperse and stuff. But essentially, yeah, you, you can't see them anymore. You can still see like the stars and stuff if you look really closely, but you can't see blocks for some reason. You can see through them downwards though. Like if you if you were in the cloud, you'd be able to see down. If there was ever a good, yeah. See, we can see through them when we look down. Can't see when we look up. But that's all right. That's not important. What's important is audio levels being low. Music and sound. Master volume one. Master volume zero. Well, that should be off. But oh, well, that sucks. I don't know why that happened. It's never happened before. That's worrying, but um, I made a flag machine, as you can see. Isn't that amazing? Yeah, I won't get past you, but I can't. <sighs> well, I guess we're going to follow it. Um, this is the path we take. This is only the first half. Um, as you can see, okay, so while that goes on, let's just explain stuff, because that's going to take a really long time to get there. Once it goes out of our loading zone, it's going to stop, I'm pretty sure, but... Um, Essentially what I'm thinking is we always keep one here and one over there, and then if you ride this one here, you send this one back, you know, so it doesn't matter which angle you come from, you know, you can always catch one, because uh, there's no way to, like, push a button and have it come to you, because it's so far away that the chunks won't be loaded and the redstone will stop, and these blocks won't move. Um, so, I guess... It won't really send it back. It'll send it like halfway back and then get unloaded. But then standing on the other side should load it enough that it continues on. But I mean, it takes so long to get there. I'd hate, I'd hate to have to make you wait for it. Um, but it's mirrored this way, and it's I think reverse mirrored the other way, just because of how these need to stop against things. Like that side is on that side kind of thing. It's like inside out of this. Um, I haven't completed this other one though, because uh, I was hoping to be able to build it on a mountain like I did here, but this one, sadly, is over nothing. There's just nothing there. It's a plain open field, so nothing good. But the reason why I chose to end this one where I end it is because if you go to the left, which is where the next one will take you, there is a lot of mountains, so we should be able to find one at least that tall, if not taller. Um, but yeah, as you can see, this is a very slow ride. But there's one fun thing you can do. Woo! You're bounced by a slime block. Oh. Make sure you're in the air for it, though. Otherwise, you're just going to take suffocation damage. Ah, but yeah. There's a roof forest here. We could build something here. I think that'd be cool. I do like roof forests, though. One of my favorite common biomes that I added in. I, like, when they added a lot of bombs, I'm like, yeah, that's cool, that's cool. Like, when they started adding trees, spruce trees to hills, 
I thought it was pretty cool, you know, it's nice to have some vegetation, but when they added the roof forests, ooh, I was happy. I like um, the desert plain things, the uh, acacia trees, but that's because of the acacia trees, not because I actually like the biomes. Although, um, I'm not sure if you know this, but we find acacia trees, they're an extreme hills version, which are like, you, if you know what amplified is, it's like, just amplified for some reason. It's like the one biome which is insane. Like giant flying mountains. That's that's crazy. Anyway, we're gonna reach the docking station. And it should all work, even though the boat was not working for some reason. I think it was just so perfectly lined up it just fell right through the cracks. Which is impressive. But um Yeah, maybe you should always place it crooked so that it doesn't line up, I guess. I have enough wood to make another one, so I could do that and try it on the way back. But we're almost there. I know you've seen it before in the creative world, but yeah. Anyway, I wanted to not cut this so you could actually see how long it will take. As you can see, very long. And the worst part is this is only the first half of the journey. There is another half. Oh, also there's no way to get up there. Hmm. I would jump down, but I've found through many attempts that that is actually certain death. Hmm. 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 Well, I guess we could go up and over. Okay. So essentially, um, yeah, we'd build another one next to it. And yeah, that's it. Pretty nice, yeah? Uh, we'd probably want to build a platform so that it's not just flying over nothingness, but if you go this way Cape Yuko's house and a mountain um, but yeah, you gotta make sure you have uh, furnaces everywhere that slime box touch, as you destroy everything with slime box, so keep that in mind I am gonna remove this uh, pathway, but just for building reasons I don't have to wait for this thing to fly across every single time because it's quicker to walk let alone sprinting or sprint jumping across that. So, you know. It'll be here for now. But once we get this all set up, we won't care about efficiency, I guess. Or something. Uh, but if we plop down a crafting table. Plop it down. Don't place it. Plop it. Build a boat. Uh, this is how you place the boat. And make sure not to place it on this side, because that updates and ruins everything. So put it like there. Put the boat on top, destroy that block, hop in the boat, oh, and just strange your control, uh, oh, and try to make it jagged, I guess. No, jagged, too straight. I know, I had it perfect before, I was really proud of it. Okay, now we hope we don't fall, because over there we just fell into the mountain, here we'll fall to our death. Let's also remove these, uh, Slime blocks. Oh, 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 oh. <gasps> oh. Slime blocks are uh, the fun, but they're deadly, man. They're deadly. Okay, push the button. Now, I should say that that redstone doesn't actually power the piston, it just updates it, which is why there's two pieces of it, is to attract it away from the piston. Um, Essentially, if you were to power it, it would get the timing off. You just wanted to update, so it just does a pulse. But, um, yeah. Redstone, updating redstone is a two block distance, whereas everything else is, like, directly touching updates. Whereas redstone does, like, a distance thing. For some reason, I'm not sure why, but it does. Anyway, this is the ride. I'll see you back there, and uh, we can talk about designs for a station. Right, so here we are, back at the station. It's been a while, but. We got here. So, uh, what I'm thinking is we'll have three stations: one here, one at the midway point, which will have two ways, and then one at the end point over there. Uh, I'm thinking we'll try to like make them look the same, you know, have it like a commercialized theme. Um, the problem is, is like it's reversed. Um, like you see how these are pointing this way. I think. This will be pointing outwards. I could be wrong though. 
me think about this. Yeah, I think that's about right. Um, just because the redstone needs to be on a different side, I think that's how it works out. Um, but uh, for places that aren't on mountains, I think we should have a platform underneath. Also, my wrist is broken because I was in a boat. Um, but I think we need a platform underneath just so we can walk around in case you fall out. Uh, just so that it's not like the platform is made out of flying machine, you know, so there's an actual platform. So, probably use stone. I like stone. Whether it be half slabs, you know, or stone bricks, I'm not sure. But it should be, at, you know, I, I think it would be good if you could walk anywhere underneath. I mean, except for here, because that's I'd have to drop it another block. And then, you know, I have a staircase up here. You know? Maybe make this platform a couple blocks wide, you know. Try and make it feel... Oh, there we go. Platform here. And then drop it down here. You know, just the usual. So I'm thinking. Make this look better. Like that. It's a little bit awkward because everything is two blocks wide instead of the three that you want so you all know everything should be three blocks everything should be odd that's the rules of minecraft in real life you try to make everything look as even as symmetrical as possible but because that's so easy to do in minecraft it actually looks nicer to make things look random which is a lot easier to do in real life anyway um so it's a slight inconvenience i mean i guess what i could have done oh wow this is really weird is just make it three wide. I mean, like, these had to be two wide just because of the design of my flying machine. I guess technically it didn't have to be. I could put slime blocks here and. Eh, blah, blah, blah. Point is, I could have designed it three, but I'm not remaking all this. Because, you know, if you're too picky, then you'll never get anything done. You know, that's my motto. So you, you just make a mistake and you stick with it. And then people are like, whoa, why did you do that? It's like, because I made a mistake. You know? And people respect that, man. People respect that. Like crazy. They respect it like crazy, man. There we go. Put a little thing around. And then after that, put half slabs. Half slabs everywhere. Half slabs are good because we don't have to worry about perfect lighting. We want to make sure nothing can ever spawn. I mean, there's not many spawning places, even if you don't half slab it. The fact is, there's not. We can't have any chance of things spawning because I think, I think I said, might not have. I think in the other video I said that you know no one's going to actually be riding it. You're going to be AFKing it. So you want to make sure that when you arrive at one of these platforms, there's no chance of a mob greeting you. Like if you weren't here because you're away and you arrived here and a creeper blew you up, not good. Not only if you destroyed the station, you've destroyed the flying machine. You're dead, all your stuff is despawned. So we'll probably have to make it so there's some sort of gate to stop anything from spawning like over there and walking along. You know? Um, but let me know if you have any ideas, designs, fetishes, um anything, you know. But I'm thinking I'm thinking this. I'm liking this. I'm even liking this stone here. Like not stone brick it, just leave it as stone. You know? I mean, the only problem with this design is it will be so awkward to walk across because you're bouncing up and down. You know? So maybe not too many elevation changes would probably be a good idea. Also, we have to make it look good from, like, the underneath. Not necessarily here, because you can't see the underneath here, but, like, especially over there. I mean, you probably will never be underneath it. But in case someone does walk underneath, we still want it to look nice. Um... Do you think, now this is an important question, do you think I should make the fl the platform over there fly, or do you think I should build a pillar down to the earth so it's like being supported? Because I'm not sure. I can't decide that one. That, one, that one's a difficult decision. It's a difficult decision, man. It's like, I mean, like, these things fly, so maybe the platform should fly, but maybe the platform is grounded like every other platform. I'm not sure which one would look better, you know? And one day we'll return to this. And one day, one day we'll return to that. Speaking of which, guys, if you have any ideas, let me know. You know, don't forget that rabbit farm. 
I need help. Um. Anyway, do I have resources? I do have resources. I might go over there and start building the other platform of this for the rest of the episode, and I'll get back to you when I make some progress or something. You know, something, something. Well, it started raining, so I'm definitely not going to go back to the snow area in case this because it will be snowing there and I'm worried that the snow will update one of the pistons and ruin everything so I'm going to stay over here for a while you know enjoy the sights and, we, um, and I am going to get building sir and or madams watching this I know I said I wasn't going to go back into the snow in case it ruined everything but I just saw a thunderstrike and well it's not every day that we get a thunderstorm I want to get my charge creepers charging so we will see if this gets ruined from the snow. I'm mostly worried about that one on the right going because if this one goes we'll just hit a platform. If this one goes well there's nothing to stop it so that's going to be fun. And look at that creeper. Prime example why you must light this up. There you go. Go away. Although if you got struck by lightning That'd be awful. See that? Lightning. Thunder and lightning. Let's go. Thunder being the sound, lightning being the light. Funny that. Lightning is light. Did you know that? Okay. Oh, hey, a creeper. Oh, hey. So during thunderstorms, mobs can spawn whether it's day or night. And it's day. And the thunderstorm went away. And we completely missed out. Hmm. Well, up to now, I've only ever seen one piece of lightning strike. It was like one piece of lightning and then thunderstorm over, which is kind of what this was. It's kind of sad lightning storms. They make me sad anyway. It's okay. It's okay. I'll live. But, uh, this thing. It's taking me a while to build, so I might have to call an episode. But next episode, we might even have a full, full thing going. It's just really difficult building in the air. I'm looking forward to building the third one, which, will, which will hopefully, hopefully be on a mountain. It'll be really easy because this one was pretty easy to build, but this, this one over there. Uh, oh, is it becoming night time? Oh, would you look at that? Hmm. Well, um. Yeah, th this one I have to build the catches and then the sanders all in the air. So it's a very difficult one to build and it's twice as big as every other one. So, yeah, it's it's taking its time, but we'll get to it. But as for me, uh, you, my dog Blue, my phone's going to go off, I'm going to throw it across the room. Because it's probably a group text, and I hate group texts. Guys, if you know me, if you ever are in a group with me, under no circumstances make a group text. I will not respond because I do not appreciate the conversation. Anyway, so something about my dog Blue, we can do anything we want to do. 